Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Hold on one second. Let me get some uh, ambiance music going in the background. There we go. Um, and this is my lumber, or uh, let's make a game, whichever one you want to call it. Because, I mean, either way we go, that's pretty much what I'm doing. So, yesterday I had made the shopkeeper, which I, I think I'm probably going to change again because it just, I don't know, for some reason it doesn't look right. It doesn't feel like it should, but that's okay because it's, it's my game, not lumber. So I should be okay with that, right? What am I grabbing right here? Oh, those are the door frames. Okay, good. So, let's carry on. What did I want to do tonight? Um, there was... Oh, I remember what it was. I found that I'm doing the calculations of these things wrong, of the trees. So, let's go ahead and move this over, and I'll show you kind of what I'm talking about. Um, we'll move this back over into a testing area right there, so I can just start... Oh, gosh. Control-Z. Undo that. That and that. I know, I don't want to. That and that. Thank you. Oh my gosh, why is that so hard? So, <clears throat> something that I've realized is all the land masses, they're going to be different sizes and they're going to be different, um, different things. So, by doing the random pick one of these things, it's unequal. And I'll, I'll show you the reason why. So, um... We'll just bust out a notepad. So uh, let's just stick with three things, okay? Instead of the five or six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Instead of the six objects that we see right there, I'm gonna stick with three, okay? So let's say one is 10 by 10, one is two or 3,000 by 3,000, and one is 256 by 1024. Okay, so uh, I'm only doing the top surface where um, the trees... So, uh, okay, if you've seen my previous videos, um, you'll know that I do a calculation for like three objects, and then I pick one of these things at random. Well, given infinite amount of times, they should equally calculate. So each one should have an equal amount, no matter what the number is to infinity. Okay. So theoretically, this is an incorrect statement. I don't want these to be equal because they're not equal. Okay. This has got a weight to it. And what I mean by weight is, um, this portion should not get the same consideration as this portion. That's not how trees work. That's not how pollen floats around and a seed falls and it's hits at a specific point. So what we have to do is we have to take into consideration what all of these mean. So um, what you can think of is like this. So area is width times height, or length times width, right? That's That covers area. Um, we're not talking about cubes, we're talking about squared. So 10 times 10 is uh, 100 squared, okay? 3,000 times 3,000, bust out my handy dandy blue clues calculator here. 3,000 times 3, 1, 2, 3, 3,000 is 9 million. 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And 25, uh, 256 times 10, 24 is, whoops, I think I did that wrong. 256, hold on, I can pull this over here. You guys can see this, this isn't a secret. 256 times 10, 24 is 26,000. Uh, 262, 262,144. So these are the area um, that the seed could possibly fall on. That is not the total sum of the areas there. So what I have to do is I have to take these three numbers, add them together and get a total. So plus nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, plus 100. So that is the total area, 9,262,244 square units. Okay, that's the, that's the possible area that the seed could possibly fall on. Now to pick the uh, objects at random, I have to take the percentage of those and give it to a 100% range. So this is our actual value. So I need to take 100, divided by 
this value. Oh my gosh, that's like, okay, maybe these were too big. Let's, uh, let's lower these down. Uh, does that work? One, 300 times 300 equals 90,000. Okay. So maybe this would be a little bit better. Let's do 262144 plus 90,000 plus 100. So that is going to be my new value. So I take 100 divided by this. Why is it giving me, where's scientific calculator? Maybe this is still, okay, let's just do, let, you know, let's do, let's do small numbers, small numbers. I don't want to get you guys confused. Five by five, 30 by 30, and let's do the 10 by 10. So uh, 10 by 10. Sorry, I'm just, I, I don't want to waste time. And I know it feels like I'm wasting time, but this is, this is really good to know because this is something that I messed up and I didn't even realize I messed it up until I had gone back in the video and I'm like, wait, why is this little square getting so many trees and all the other ones are kind of getting spread out? And it doesn't really matter on a small scale, but when I put it to the really large scale, things go crazy. Uh, and then we have, let's see, five times five is actually just 20, 25. And then what is 30, oops, uh, 30 times 30, oh, come on, 30 is 900. So I can just take off two more zeros and then 10 by 10 is 100. So this should be what we need. 100 plus 900 plus 25. So my total sum is 1025. So if I take 25 divided by 1025, I get 0 0.02. Four. So technically, this is only 2.4%. Okay? So that's the total chance that it should have to spawn a tree. Same thing with this. We take 900 divided by 1025, and we get 87. So this should have 87% of the trees. Uh, 0.84 accuracy. Uh, and then this one right here is 100 divided by 1025 for a total of uh, 9.75%. No, 9.7. We'll just we'll just equal it out. So all of these added together, 8729 plus their percentages and the smaller digits should equal a total of 100%. So. To do my randomness, I have to take a total and um, figure out its percentage by using a fraction. So this one only has a two point, the, the first one, there's only a 2.4% chance that it should actually land uh, on this particular object. So what I would do is um, pick a, a random number uh, if that number is from zero to two, what did we say? Point four, then it equals object one. If it was from uh, two point five to, let's see, eight seven point eight plus two point five to. 90.3, then it's going to equal object two. And 90.4 to 100 equals object three. This is what you call like a weighted percentage. Um, it's the same thing whenever you have uh, elections or votes or stuff like that. Um, politics kind of works the same way with uh, the division of lines and um, regions that you would vote for because like the area of Texas has bigger rep representation. It's got a bigger area versus um, Rhode Island or Maryland. Well, I don't know how big, it's, Rhode Island's small, so Rhode Island. But I mean, that's not to say that the population isn't more dense or more um, compact, which means like a lot more people in smaller areas. So um, this is how we are supposed to be picking our randoms not by just, hey, there's 10 objects, pick one of them at random. So 
I'll show you what's happening. And uh, I can change this by exponentially changing the amount of trees that grow. So it should generate here in just a second. This is taking way too long. Ah, oh, there they go. Okay, cool. So um, notice how this tree has a lot more clustered than, okay, this is this was a bad example. All right, let's stop, 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 stop. Let's go ahead and delete that one. And we'll delete that one. And we'll delete that one. And we'll delete that one. So we only have the two objects. Uh, control L, so it's no longer on a local axis. And we'll just rotate this down just a little bit, like that. And for emphasis, I'm going to make this one really big. So we have a really big area versus a really small area, but we should only have the two objects to be um, given things, right? So if we go over into Tree Manager, um, and this is going to be what, one, two, 100. So let's go ahead and take out these trees. I'll just let one tree grow. And I'm going to make this 10,000. So there should be 10,000 trees that generate on the small test area, 10,000 trees. And we'll see how they react on this area versus this area, just as an example. And how long was the timeout? The timeout was a while, wasn't it? Oh gosh, it's gonna go crazy. Please don't overfill the memory. Don't crash the machine. Oh, it's going crazy. And we crashed. Why, why did we crash? Position, workspace, test area, game script, timeout. <laughs> Nice, it crashed. Oh no, it stopped. Okay, let's go back over to the tree manager. 10,000 might be too many. Let's just do it. Let's just do 1,000. 1,000 trees in that little bit area. That should be fine. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Um, where's my time out? There it is. So we're just gonna generate them right off the bat. We're not gonna time out for 20 seconds. So there we go. Now why? Out of a thousand trees, it only picked like one side. That's kind of crazy. It's kind of had the same effect. Like uh, all the trees are kind of bunched up here at the end, aren't they? On the edge. I'm on the edge. So there's a there's another part to the script that I'm not quite seeing, but you can definitely tell like these are overlapping by quite a lot. So. Let's uh, let's pull that number down a little bit. Let's go to, oh, come on, tree manager. Let's go to uh, 500. 500 trees for the dogwoods. Do, 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 do. That's a better example, kind of. So this right here, you can tell it's kind of spaced out, kind of sparse. There's spaces in between. Oh, get re get ready. Make a wish. There's your sneeze. Anytime I sneeze in a video, that's that's like a it's kind of like an eyelash. It's just lucky. It's doing that same pattern. That is so weird. <coughs> oh, lucky you! You get two wishes. <laughs> and leave a comment. Don't tell me what you wish for. It won't come true. <laughs> so this right here, we've got to change. Um, what is that? That is the plant under the tree module. So here we go. That's grow. And here we go. This is plant. Under the planters, we need to take the total amount. Okay. So how am I going to do this? Let's think, 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 think. I'm going to have to take and create a table of all objects and their percentage of what to get or like a range so it, it would be a range between maximum and minimum of 100 okay so if trunks is greater than or smaller than 
Oh man, I'm, you might get a third wish here. Um, select planter. Uh, okay. So right here is where our problem lies because it just picks a random part. We, we don't want to pick just a random part. So I'm going to have to get a function going right here. Right? Maybe. Um, select planter equals planters math dot random one to the amount of planters. That is wrong. So I'm just going to comment in here. This is wrong. <laughs> Smiley face. Um, let's do some mathematics. How am I going to do this? I need to create a table. Um, wait, where's planters at? Where did we define planters? Function tree model plant planters. No. Okay, so planters is passed into us. All the objects are passed to the function plant. So right off the bat, okay, let's kill that. If trunks is less than one, okay. So this is a this is to check to see if we've actually planted yet. And then down here, local can grow uh, can grow here equals false. C frame dot new. That's all before we even pick the planter. <coughs> While not can grow here. So uh, while false, uh, while not false, which is a true, so while true, do this. Um, okay, so we do need to pick down here. This picks a random part on the available list. And we don't want to do that. We want to create a new table. So, and we want to make that table. Okay, so let's do local total area equals zero for i comma e no uh for what did i say k comma o for keys objects in pairs planters do object dot okay oh, i can't have <laughs> no spaces in variables. So we're going to say total area equals um, object dot po no size dot x times object oh wait total area. Wow, I cannot spell tonight total area plus object dot size dot x times object dot size dot y. No, y is up and down, so z. So the total area equals the total area plus this. <clears throat> so that should go through and give us the total area area. So then we want to create a new table. After that. Okay. So local percentage table equals. And what is it? Is this one of those? Or is it Oh gosh, how do I make a table again? Do I just do... Yeah, I just do those. So that should uh, that should create a new table. And we want to do the same thing for each object. For KO in pairs, totals. Um, actually, wait, we could do this both at the same time. No, we can't. We have to have the total amount of areas so we can do this. So we first collect the total 
we create the table. Now we do um, table dot insert. Um, uh, let's see. First one's going to be the table list, which is going to be the percentage table. Uh, next is a position, uh, which can just be K. Next is going to be value, and that value is going to be the object, comma, the percentage table. Um, <clears throat> the middle number is going to be, or this, the second number is going to be the percentage. So it's going to be O. Oh, so it's just like this. So the same formula. Size X times size Z and divided by total area. Just like that, I think. And then we do another one of those. So that's actually going to give us an object. So each one of the objects that we create, each one of the trees that we create, um, it should, oh wait, no, each one of the planters that's passed into us will get a percentage of the total area. I think. So now if we do, um, let's do print, um, percentage table and K. I think, don't quote me on this. I, I could be completely wrong. Oh, that just printed the tables, didn't it? Dang it. Oh, it's because it's a table on the inside. Ah, ha, 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 silly goose. Okay, so, um, where was it again? Come back here. The module. The model. Mm, so we want, um, one, and then we want to do comma percentage table two. Comma and two. First object, second object. So the first object is the actual object itself. The second object is the percentage total. I should. Oh, I think that worked. Did it work? Go back up. Test spot. So it's a 97 and a 2%. Oh my gosh. That worked. Oh, that is, that is amazing. That is awesome. So we have our percentage of the, the totals that we need. <laughs> This one, this one right here has a 97.95% chance of getting a tree. This one right here has a 2.049% um, chance. So 2% chance that it should land over here and a 97% chance that it should land over here. <clears throat> now, just so I know that I'm not crazy on this, which probably am, that's okay. Um, let's go ahead and take, the, oh, come on. Take this object, uh, we're going to make it down just a little bit like that. We're going to duplicate it and we're going to move it out like that. Now there should be, these should be two equal parts. So I should have one that's like 2%, it's probably less than that, probably 1%. Uh, no, actually it's going to increase because we decreased the size, it's about 4%. Okay. See how it said two right there? One, two. So that is absolutely true. Oh my gosh. So two of the objects, these two objects are 47.85%. And this object over here is a 4.29%. So these are more correct. Now that it's not displaying it right now. So what you're seeing is still the, hey, just pick a random thing at random anyway. That's not what we're going for. We want to do um, the actual selection part. So now that we have the percentage, um, we need to pick a random number in between. So how are we going to do this? It's gonna have a, a range. 
right? Each one of the objects should be in a range from zero to, oh man, the math in my head is just hurting right now. So, um, how do I add the percentage table? Hmm. So on each one of the loops, I would have to have from zero, add total, put that into the table. From the next total, add this total, put that into the range. So on the first, first loop would be zero as our first number to the OX times OZ divided by total, total, right? So then the second loop would be this or the sum of that uh, current percent to, okay, 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 I got this, I got this. I know what I'm thinking. So this right here, it inserts it into the table and we have the percentage that it's able to move. So next we need the range, which we technically already have right there. So let's do current total equals zero. Uh, we have to make it local. <clears throat> and we're going to say mm, local my percentage equals this right here. My percentage equals that. I hope that I'm not losing you and I hope that you've not lost interest because this isn't like some serious math going on here. So the current range, current range would be zero to my percent. No, to current range plus my percent, because zero plus my current range. Okay, okay, we got this. Okay, so current range. Oh, no, no, it's current total, current total. Sorry, 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 sorry. So current total, comma, current total plus my percentage should be correct. And then we say current total equals current total plus my percentage. That should give us a range. Maybe. I think. <laughs> I could be totally wrong. So we haven't printed anything yet. So um, let's do for k comma o in pairs percentage table do print percentage table um, K uh, I guess I don't have to say percentage table I could just say oh let's see wait object variable one object variable two object variable three right variable two and object variable or array three. So this right here, so the first one right here, we get the total area. 
The second we create a table and we take uh, a current total. And what we do is we loop through and we say my percentage of what the what my scale is is my x size times my z size divided by the total area that we found earlier. That gives us the starting percentage. So we're starting at 0% and we're going up to the current percent uh sorry. Yeah. The current total is 0. So we go from 0 to current total plus my percent. And then the current total becomes the current total plus my percent, which on the next one, the range is going to be in between. Um, that's going to be slightly off because it's, it's going to have like a 0 0.0001 range difference, which shouldn't make too much of a difference, right? All right, crazies, let's play this. Uh. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so we only have three objects, so it should only be happening three times, and there it is. But it happened three times for like a billion or for a thousand objects. So let's go back over to the tree manager. Uh, we're only going to build one tree, but we're going to see the percentages of each one. So, right there. And 52 to 100, it would be the finishing move, the last of it. So uh, this one right here, this is um, 47%. Oh gosh, wait, what happened there? What is grass? Oh, I'm printing a grass table in there somewhere, aren't I? Plant main area grass. Um, print. Print. Print's the only thing that I got in there, and it's not. Okay. Hmm. Well, the test gen spots are 0 to 0 0.4, 0 0.4 to 0 0.5, 0.5 to 1. Ooh, we got it. So there's there's the numbers. There's the the range. So that should be uh, good <laughs> for now. I hope I've thoroughly confused you about the weighted totals, so we get a more equal um, uh, chance of growing on a specific object. I'm also going to have to fix that uh, that place that it's growing at because if I tilt the object, watch this. Watch 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 watch. If I tilt this thing like crazy like that, right? Uh, and then we go to move and pull it up just a little bit like that. Go back over to the tree manager and we'll, oh wait, tree model? No, tree manager. And we'll make uh, we'll make a thousand trees again. Uh, a thousand trees. Play. Now watch what happens. Oh gosh, did I crash it? I crashed it. No, don't crash. Okay. <laughs> They're all appearing on the upper sides. <laughs> like, where's all the trees that are supposed to be done? There's like over a thousand trees on this thing. On all three of the things. And they're only appearing in clusters. So I, I've got the math wrong in there somewhere. And I'll, I'll probably get it fixed. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Let's Make a Game with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. I hope I've thoroughly confused you, but you've learned a little bit more about math. And if you're in the younger audience, I hope you get into mathematics because it is an amazing um, area of, of learning, school, science, mathematics. And it's a big part of programming. So if you don't have the passion for mathematics and if you don't have the passion for um, programming itself, you'll you'll find out pretty fast and pretty soon. But I do I want to encourage you to like try, get out there and try your best. And if you don't like it, find something that interests you. I love you guys very much. Have a great night. Oh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Did I say that already? I don't know. I've ran out of coffee. I ran out of coffee like probably an hour ago, which probably made for a very interesting video. But I love you guys. Have a great night. I will talk to you very soon. All true.